get started by letting me give you a little bit of a scenario of what my life is all about. Hola amigos, Jay Barrick, say to Sage here with you. Mojave National Preserve at the Hole in the Wall Campground. My view waking up this morning. Watch the sun coming up over those mountains. Got a great view coming out the front. It's a cold morning. We've got uh, 7.30, 43 degrees. And uh, just uh, getting the coffee going. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> ah, let's see what we got cooking this morning. Got some potatoes, onions, garlic, Peppers, I got sweet peppers, poblano peppers, uh, and then just put in some egg whites in there. We're gonna drop them on some tortillas, add some cheese, and that is breakfast. Voila! <sighs> breakfast in the Mojave. There's my potatoes and onion and pepper burritos. I got two of those suckers. I'm uh, going for a big hike today, so the goal today that right there is called Barber Peak, and today I'm going to walk around Barber Peak. Hola campers, Jay Barrick, Sandy Sage here with you at the trailhead to Barber Peak Loop Trail here at the Mojave National Preserve at the Hole in the Wall Campground. I'm ready to uh, start a six mile round trip hike. Uh, you can see the mileage is uh, right there, uh, ending in this fun little climb up these metal rings. And we'll see if I, I'm able to film that or not, uh, but just a fantastic hike. Uh, this is my second time doing this hike. Uh, the, today is just beautiful. Good day for a hike. It's in the mid-70s, a uh, little overcast. The mountains look spectacular. The bees are buzzing. Yeah, let's have some fun, huh? So for fans of the Drifter, uh, you may have noticed a, uh, a part of my trailer clip where I'm walking in the desert, my hair is much shorter, and uh, I have a, a plaid, green and white plaid shirt on in my trailer. That was filmed uh, on my first visit here in the Mojave, uh, and I know I'm not in the same spot I was at then, but basically looking that way because I was just in awe of uh, these, this granite sticking out of this hill here and just had to film it. And that's how I ended up uh, shooting that clip with my GoPro that I just got. And I had no idea at the time that I would be uh, 
doing the California drifter thing. <laughs> cool. And there's the yucca. <sighs> Nothing quite says Mojave like the Mojave yucca, the plant we're looking at right here. Uh, here in April, early April, uh, they are not blooming. But I will show you some pictures of their blooms uh, from a January trip I took out here. They're absolutely spectacular and they're just a magnificent plant. And uh, you may, oh, nice little prickly pear there. Uh, you may also uh, re start recognize the similarities between the Mojave Yucca and Joshua trees. They grow in this very similar climate, a uh, very similar region of the country. Um, the mass majority of them are here in the Mojave. Uh, as well of as well of course as the Joshua Tree National Preserve uh, and they are a similar species the Joshua tree is a form of yucca just a different variety uh, here in the Mojave you have this uh, beautiful Mojave yucca and uh, we also have the blue yucca Okay, are you uh, starting to figure out why they call it hole in the wall? <laughs> That's right, uh, a lot of holes in the wall. Just uh, hiding my little cubby hole, enjoying some shade after a long hike. I only got, uh, got less than a mile to go to get back to the campground, but uh, what a good place to cool off and rest my legs, eh? This is why they call it the rings loop. <laughs> Take a look at that. <laughs> 